Today in Red Dead Online, we got the new naturalist role. It is a bit confusing. It's way different than anything we've had in the game at all. I've been playing it a bunch today on stream, as well as after stream, we've been grinding out a little bit, seeing what the best way you can use this role to rank it up and unlock some of the cool features. We're gonna be talking about that now, next. Stick around. Howdy Cowpoke, Austin VMX here, and if you're like me, you've probably been grinding the naturalist role, trying to figure out what it is, how to get XP, how to get ranked up. That's what we've been doing all day today, and we got some tips and tricks for you, so stick around because uh, I think I can help you out a little bit. Uh, so first, what is the naturalist role? The naturalist role is the newest role in Red Dead Online that just dropped yesterday on Tuesday, July 28th. It is kind of based on the collector role as far as how it works a little bit and what you need to actually find and collect but it's a lot to do more, of course, with animals and the environment around you. Uh, first thing you wanna do, of course, is go to Strawberry. You'll meet Miss Davenport at the Welcome Center. I'm not gonna show you any of that cutscene because it is actually a fantastic cutscene, so I don't wanna spoil that for you guys, but definitely go here to the Welcome Center in Strawberry, and uh, it costs you 25 gold bars, same as the Moonshiner roll was, so 25 gold bars to get yourself there. When you get there, you will meet Miss Davenport, as well as uh, Mr. McMillan, Gus McMillan, who actually is the new trapper in the game. Uh, we'll talk about that in a different video, but you can use legendary animals and things like that to go and create some pretty cool outfits and trinkets for him. I'll show you where they are on the map though. As far as Miss Davenport, once you meet her in Strawberry, there are three locations you can get to her. One here is in Wallace Station, as you can see right there. Uh, one is all the way down by McFarland Ranch, as you can see at this spot right there. And the last one is kind of the easiest one to get to because it's really close to a fast travel or the closest to a fast travel is over here in Blue Water Marsh right by La Grasse. I mean, right next to the fast travel spot. As far as the trapper locations, they are the same as in story mode. Uh, there will be one down here in uh, San Denis. Not sure why they're not popping up for us. There we go for Gus there. I uh, also have a Gus spot up here in uh, the Annisburg area, and then a bunch of them over on this side of the map. If we scroll over here, we should have one here by Rig Station. He's got a spot way over here in uh, Big Valley, right down here in Tall Trees, and then a the new spot that is not in story mode down here in New Austin below Chola Springs. So go check him out. You always can make some cool stuff there, but in this video, we're going to be talking about how to rank up your role as a naturalist and work in very hard actually uh, with uh, Miss Davenport. So one of the things you're gonna get, you're gonna get two things from Miss Davenport here. Harriet's her name, Harriet Davenport. You're gonna get yourself your field guide, your animal field guide. Well, that's not good. Hopefully it lasts as long as this video does. <laughs> Been playing a lot today. Uh, your animal field guide is gonna look a lot like the collector bag. It's gonna have different collections of animals, right? Farmland habitats, desert habitats, wetland habitats. If you look at these, all the animals are gonna be undiscovered until you discover them. See, right there. That's not good because you don't really know what it is. So you gotta go around and discover every single animal in the game pretty much. If we jump over to the mountain and grasslands habitat, that's the one I worked out quite a lot today and I tried to complete it for this video. Unfortunately, the elusive timber wolf was very elusive. And uh, he killed me once, and I could never find him again. I spent a couple hours looking for him up in the Grizzlies. But the way you're going to be want to play this is you're going to want to use your binoculars, either the regular binoculars or the refined binoculars. Yes, finally a use for the refined binoculars because I've been using them quite a lot today. I've been using the refined binoculars today more than I've used them in the entire last seven months to look for collectibles. So use your binoculars to zoom in on a particular animal, and it will give you the option to... Uh, study that animal. Once you study that animal, then you can have different options to do. You will need to track it, which you can do with your binoculars or if you're normal tracking with the scent. Uh, you will need to kill and skin that animal as well to complete this full set of uh, information here for each animal. You will need to sedate and sample the animal as well, which you will need to use your new varmint rifle ammo you get from Miss Davenport. And you will need to photograph the animal, which you can use any camera, the old camera or the new camera. Now, the only way you get XP 
with any of this stuff that I've found so far is when you study it, and you can only study an animal one time. You can only study an animal one time. You can do everything else in this list as many times as you want. Uh, so once you study that animal one time, you get 50 XP, uh, up to 65 if you're ranked up in the Outlaw Pass, and then you want to sedate it and sample it because you want to take that sample back to Miss Davenport and sell it back to her. She'll give you a little bit of money and some XP for it. That's the two things you can do as a low rank to get some XP. You can study as many animals as you can and get their samples and get them back to Miss Davenport here. It's not much XP. It's a little bit of a grind to get going. Uh, so there are a few different ways you can get a little more XP. If we go talk to her real quick, if she's even around, Miss Davenport, are you here? She does have missions. If we pull those missions up, uh, you're going to see some legendary animal missions. Unfortunately, you can't do these until you're rank 5. Uh, so you have to get to rank 5 to get to those two. We'll talk about those a little bit later on. But you can just do poached animals, as you can see down the right. Select post animal missions. You can do those at any time. It doesn't have anything to do with these. You just hit the X button to do those. Those are kind of like bootlegger missions with the the Moonshiner. They just allow you to go to a camp, save an animal, and uh, she'll give you a little bit of XP for that. It's a couple hundred. It's not too bad. We also have the legendary animal map that she will give you. You will get this right when you start the game. Now, right when you start the game, you will go to your documents section and pick up that map. There will be just a handful of spots on it although all the locations are static so as we discover more you guys could even use my map here to scan a little bit more than you get when you first start but as we discover more you guys will find out where all the legendary animals are and you can go find them all uh, this gives you a designated area to go look once you go to this area and roam around if you're lucky you'll get the legendary animal question mark to pop up on your mini map once that happens, you can search around a little bit more and you'll get a legendary animal paw print to pop on your map. Then you want to chase that animal down. Uh, you want to do the same things to that legendary animal as you do to all the, other legend all the other animals in the game. If we go over to some of the legendary kits here, I've gotten a few of the patterned ones. Uh, if we go into some of these, if we go over to like our fox right here, I'm not sure if you can see everything behind my screen here, but I have tracked this and I've skinned it, but that's it. I wasn't able to sedate it and sample it. I wasn't able to study it. That's the main thing you want to do with these legendary animals. Once you find them, get that dang camera out and try to zoom in on it long enough to study it because that will give you XP. And then you want to get your varit rifle out and shoot the freaking living heck out of that sucker. And unfortunately, all these legendary animals in the game are free aim. So believe me, it's a bit of a pain, definitely. But you want to sedate that animal and then you want to sample it because you bring that sample back to Miss Davenport and she'll give you a good amount of XP. You can do that at any rank, uh, even up to the lowest ranks that you're in right now. So low rank, search those legendary animals down, do those post missions from her and sample, sample, sample and study every animal you can find in the game until you get ranked up. Once you get ranked up a little bit, we'll take a look at a few other things you can look at. If we look at our progress real quick, I am like 8, I believe, right now. I didn't grind too much during stream and stuff today, but after stream, I was grinding like crazy um, to kind of get the gist of this whole role and what we could do to rank it up and help you guys out. Uh, of course, once you get to rank 4, like any role, you unlock the free room events. There are two free room events that pop up randomly throughout the day. They're probably not too random, but we don't know the times quite yet. I think one popped up for me right around 8 o'clock uh, at night Pacific time. So whatever time that is for you, that's the one that I did, and they are great XP. Once you get to this rank, I highly recommend if you see any of these pop up, jump into them because... I got 500 X5 to 600 XP, depending on where you are in the Outlaw Pass, for just completing that mission. And then uh, I got a legendary sample to go along with it. And I went and sold that to Miss Davenport and got another 300 XP. So I think I got pretty close to 1,000 XP. I'm, I'm ranked up all the way in the Outlaw Pass. Uh, so I do have a little bit of a bonus there just by doing one of those missions. So that's, once you get to rank four, definitely look out for those. Once you get up to rank five, of course, I showed earlier, you will be able to unlock the legendary missions from Miss Davenport. Those are quite a lot of XP as well. And as far as I could tell, there wasn't any cooldown on them. I did one and went back and sold my sample to her for some good XP. 
a few hundred XP and I was immediately able to jump back into another one. You actually get XP for completing these legendary missions and then you get XP for giving the sample back to her. So it is double XP there. It's fantastic for sure uh, to rank up those once you get to rank 5. I highly recommend that. It is a lot of fun actually. This role, I got mixed feelings. I know a lot of people do too. It is really, really different than anything else we have in the game right now. Uh, it is kind of slow, but learning how to rank it up and uh, have fun in the game and do these legendary missions is a lot of fun. Like we stated, the legendary missions are free aim, so it is a, quite difficult to get that animal sedated or even killed because they do charge you even like most of them, even like the fox and whatnot. That sucker can run like crazy, but they are a lot of fun. Definitely jump in there. They got some cool cutscenes as well. Like you see here with the Buffalo mission that I did. I mean, look at this is fantastic right here, right? Watching these guys fight right here. It's fantastic. We had to go hunt this guy down and get him sedated. I made sure to get uh, a uh, discovery on him as well or a study and then sedate him and bring that sample back to good old Miss Davenport to get ourselves a good amount of XP. So recap, low level, you want to study, sedate, and sample every animal you see on the map. You can only study an animal one time, but you can sedate and sample an animal multiple times. So if you have a herd like this and you're a really good shot, you could knock down all of these buffalo and sedate. You have to sedate them with your varmint rifle and uh, sample them all. Bring all those samples back to Miss Davenport and get quite a lot of XP if you want to grind that out. Once you hit rank four, I highly recommend jumping in and doing those free roam events when you see them pop up quite a lot of XP there and then once you hit rank 5 you can do the legendary missions like you see me doing here and definitely do those again low level do the poacher missions as much as you can and the legendaries that from your map as well because the samples you get from those are worth quite a lot of XP hey cowpoke hope you guys are having a lot of fun like we are we're kind of feeling it hopefully it's fantastic for you guys I know it's a lot different in the game but uh, just Play the how it is and uh, play it for what it is and have some fun and go out and find all these animals again. Yeah, just like the game's new and do some discoveries and have a lot of fun free aiming. If you like this video or the tips helped you rank up, make sure to hit that like button. If you're new around here, consider subscribing to the channel for more Red Dead Online content, including tips and tricks, news updates, gameplay, just good old fashioned fun. Hope to see you on the prairie sometime, but until then, see you later.